Lisa here with a love note for February 8th. And this is the love note I have not been wanting to do. <laughs> so I'm going to put that out there right up front. So my guides, when all of this first started, they said, look, we're going to help you grow, but you need to understand that there are going to be times when you're going to feel really uncomfortable in the process. <laughs> and I thought, oh crap, here we go. And, um, uh, Today, what they're asking me to do is something they've actually been asking for a couple of weeks and I have, uh, you know, avoided. Time to stop avoiding. So my mom will often say, you know, honey, people ask me what you do and I just don't even know what to tell them. <laughs> Can you tell me what you do? And my guide said, you know, if your mama doesn't even know what you do, there's a good chance nobody else has a freaking clue either. <laughs> So what they've asked is that on Mondays, I actually come on and talk about what I do in my business and different ways that people can work with me. And so that's what I'm going to do. This is an area where I feel really uncomfortable. I'll give stuff away all day long. But when it comes to actually talking about what I do that's paid on the back end, um, I tend not to do that. So anyway, on Mondays, apparently it's now my day. So as far as free content, I'd like to start there just in terms of ways that you can interact and, and get, you know, free content. All of the stuff that I do is interacted with and guided largely, you know, by my relationship with the spiritual world. So in my alignment and connection with my own soul, with my own spiritual gifts, intuitive gifts, and bringing that forward for the benefit of others. So on the free front, you know, what I've done is in the notes section that goes with this video, I've put all the links for ways that you can access these resources. Um, so click, it's super easy. Anyway, these love notes, obviously one way of free, free content, ways to interact and connect. These are what my guides come in and encourage me to share, either because the messages are relevant from a global uh, kind of planetary energetic perspective, or because there is somebody out there in the audience who needs to hear the message. And maybe you felt like I was talking directly to you at certain times. But the love notes are really intended to try to connect you in an even deeper way with your own soul and alignment with your own soul in a way that helps to expand your own spiritual kind of understanding beyond what we see with our physical eyes. And so that's the purpose of, of the love notes is to kind of crack us open to thinking about life through the lens of love in a way that helps to usher in this more heaven on earth, fifth dimensional level of consciousness, consciousness type living that we're moving toward. So that's number one way. Number two is the Dirt Road Divinity podcast. It is coming back. I've got an interview this week. I am so freaking stoked. Season two of Dirt Road Divinity, the scenic route of the soul. And this conversation is really an opportunity to look at spirituality through a like a plethora of different lenses. So the recognition that there is not one way, one and way and one way only to connect with God, to connect with spirit, to connect with your own soul. So I love the opportunity to have these conversations and go in depth with people that I find interesting and am kind of fascinated by and to have them tell the story of their own personal spiritual journey. Recognizing that for some people, it is a well-paved path to the pew, and that is great for them. And for others of us, it's been maybe a rocky, muddy, dirty, you know, kind of, kind of path that um, was exactly the right path for them to gain greater connection with their spirit and with their soul. And so part of that is really about normalizing the recognition that for as many people on the planet as there may be, there may be that many different paths of truly, deeply, authentically connecting with God, with spirit, whatever you call the energy that connects us all. So that's Dirt Road Divinity. It is coming back online season two starting this week. I am so freaking excited. I hope you'll come check that out. There's a Facebook page where Dirt Road Divinity um, videos are. It's also available on podcast, and I put all these up on YouTube as well, so you can find them there. Uh, the other is the OMG Spot podcast. 
Yes, Elise Shulman and I are teaming up for season two of OMG Spot. This podcast gets a little more saucy, so we we dive into all kinds of things that are related to, you know, sacred pleasure and related to the sacral chakra, for those of you who talk chakras, in relation to opening up the energy center and honoring the energy center that really feeds our passion, our creativity, our ability to birth new things into the world, our connection with other people, our ability to receive and to be seen, all of that kind of stuff. Even financial flow, it's all got up in there. And the idea of pleasure, <laughs> which is always, I don't know, in my opinion, fun. Um, in this particular podcast, Elise and I uh, don't hold a whole lot back. And so you can hear me blush. <laughs> if you're watching the video, you definitely see it, but you can even hear the blushes over the course of the conversation because we just go there. And part of what we're working to do there is to take the stigma away from talking about sex, from talking about sensuality, from talking about something that is essential <laughs> for human survival, but yet we've put so much shame and blame and just crap on it that it has become taboo to talk about. And we look to blow up those taboos so that we can actually have a conversation about the actual sacred nature of sex, the sacred nature of pleasure, and how to harness that innate energy to actually help us grow closer to our soul. So again, free podcast, OMG Spot. You can find it wherever you find your favorite podcasts on Spotify, on iTunes, wherever. I also put, will be putting the videos up on YouTube and um, there's an OMG Spot podcast page as well that you can go like. Um, I also have a weekly email list. So, uh, you know, not spam in your email box or anything, but just an email list that you can join to find out what's the latest going on in Lisa land, you know, in terms of products that I'm offering services, other things uh, that are available to you. So free inspiration, motivation, encouragement, a few laughs delivered into your inbox every week. And uh, I'd love to see you there. So those are some pay free ways that we can actually, you know, work together or, um, that, that I'm just seeking to share content, share information, share inspiration, hopefully. Now, as far as the paid ways, those are pretty specific and, and more details to the side. The first is my Warrior of Light program. I love this program. And this program, Warrior of Light Basic Training, is really intended for people who are either kind of new on the spiritual path, maybe they've had some awakening experiences recently where they realize that they're kind of waking up to things are different in the world than they thought they were. Maybe they're interested in leaning more into their intuition, having their own conversations with their guides, understanding how to manage their own energy, but really don't know where to start. This basic training is for them. It's completely affordable. It's, you know, I say six weeks, it's really eight weeks of content and group coaching and even one-on-one -on -one conversations where we really dive into connecting you with your true spiritual gifts and helping you find the confidence and the courage to operate more from that place of soul alignment. It's, you know, it's been so fun to watch people grow and have incredible kind of aha moments over the course of this particular program as I see people leaning more into their own spirituality, their own connection with source and really deepening into their own intuition and their own spiritual gifts. So I love this program, Warrior of Light Basic Training. The link is available in the write-up. <sighs> Next, we have Sexual Energy Alchemy course that's going to be starting soon. And so more details are going to be forthcoming on that. But this month, a new Sexual Energy Alchemy course is launching. And I am incredibly excited about this. This is going to be an eight-week exploration of basically what turns you on about your life. About your life. What are you passionate about? What motivates you? You know, where where is your creativity? Where are all the ways that you want to feel that blossom inside of you, that you want that yummy juiciness, you know, flowing throughout not only your body, but also what you share in the world. And we're not just talking sex here. 
I mean, sure, in the bedroom stuff is great, but we're talking in life. Like there's a whole lot of sacral chakra work that has that that pertains to life outside of sex. And so we really dive into all of that. But ultimately, the sexual energy alchemy conversation boils down to a conversation about self-love, about self-acceptance, self-appreciation, knowing how worthy you are of unconditional love, starting with the unconditional love you give yourself. And for some people, that's the very biggest hurdle to overcome. With sexual energy alchemy, we have to look at what might be blocking and standing in the way of you really leaning into that. And then also, I teach all kinds of all kinds of tools for um, diving more into your own sensuality and using pleasure as a guide for connecting with your soul, aligning with you know that most authentically you part of you and that innate power that you have that oftentimes society has had tried to shun and tried to talk us out of for far too long. And it's time to bring all of that power to bear to be. If we're going to lead from a place of love, we might as well lead from a place of love with as much power, personal inner empowerment as possible, because that's how we can shine even brighter in this world. And I believe that's what the world needs. Next, so that was sexual energy alchemy. Next, I also do intuitive energy readings. And so this is when my guides come in, they hang out, have a conversation with your guides. I feel energy. That's one of my spiritual gifts. So I jump into your energy field and, and feel what's going on. And between, basically, it's like a spirit party. <laughs> you know, me, you, your chakras, my chakras, your guides, my guides. It's a big, you know. That fortunately, COVID can't be spread this way, which is a good thing. But it, it's basically a big energy party where I come in with no preset notion of what the outcome should be. And we really dive in to see what what's coming to the table for you. What are your guides encouraging for you? What are you concerned about? And then really tapping into that wisdom of the universe, that wisdom of your body, the wisdom of our guides working together to share information. I put my ego on a shelf and just try to keep my logical brain out of it and share what comes. And what I found is that it can be, you know, sometimes it's a healing session. I do energy healing too. And so sometimes it's it's a it's a healing and clearing session. Other times there might be, you know, loved ones that have passed on that decide to come in and join the party and, and have be part of the conversation. Other times it's about aligning with your soul and what your future self is really asking your present self to step into, what kind of courage it's asking you to have and what kind of reassurances it feels like you need to hear, knowing that when you operate from a place of courage and love, that all is well. So those intuitive energy readings can be wildly insightful, and uh, I enjoy them very much. The other way we can work together, I wrote a book a while back. You can find it on Amazon. It's called Real Big Love. It was really, you know, when I wrote it, it was very much intended for people who are out trying to make a difference in the world, who um, are being encouraged to show up from a place of true authenticity, from a place that lights their soul up with courage, with not playing small, and with operating from a place where love is what leads, both love for self, love for others, where we dive into this idea of soulful service that is sustainable rather than selfless service, which can wear you out and burn you out and um, often isn't sustainable. So Real Big Love, I actually have a coaching program that goes around, uh, goes along with that book as well, if anyone is interested. So those are basically, you know, the ways both from free content that I offer to paid ways that you can interact with me. You know, the whole point of the free content is to help people be curious about what's possible for them. But the truth is, whether it's these love notes or any of the other free stuff that I offer, it's only when it's applied directly and personally to you in your life that it's the most powerful. And so the paid offerings, you know, the programs that I offer are a way to take all of this material and make it very pertinent, very specific and personal 
and purposeful to you in a way that is empowering and pertains to your life, your goals, your soul, the way you can show up and be aligned with your soul so that you can live life knowing and feeling like you're on the right path to where your, where your passion for life is harnessed and moving in a direction that feels meaningful to you, where you can make your biggest contribution and feel good about it, where you can walk around in your own skin doing the woohoo dance because you like yourself and you're actually leaning into these incredible spiritual gifts and insights and intuitions and connections that the vast majority of the people on the planet turn their back on and shun or don't even know that they're there. So lots of free stuff, lots of paid ways to actually make it applicable in your world. I would love to talk to you and work with you. All of this is fine and dandy, but it's the opportunity to actually engage in a one-on-one -on -one way or in a group type setting to help people see those aha moments of how things actually apply to their lives, how their lives can improve and feel richer and juicier by taking all this content and making it real, where it's not just a theoretical or philosophical exercise, but where it's actually practical and purposeful, where they pursue it with passion. That's what turns me on. That's what lights me up. That's why I'm here. And so when we work together, I have an opportunity to lean into my purpose and my passion too. And I love that. And I love you. And that's why I do all of this. So if you have any questions, please reach out and let me know. Feel free to click any of the links in the write-up above, beside, wherever the write-up is. And just know there's lots of ways for us to interact and engage. And uh, the guides apparently are going to be kicking me in the butt making me really uncomfortable <laughs> talking about this stuff so that um, I can actually be of assistance in a bigger, broader way. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you and I will talk to you soon. See you tomorrow.